To finish up this section on Final Cut Pro, just a few smaller improvements and changes that I find worth pointing out. First off, something that maybe most of you have never even noticed, but those who have will really appreciate this. Namely the fact that if you've ever tried to select a secondary storyline by dragging a marquee around it, then you are only ever able to select the individual clips, but not the storyline itself as a whole. Something that could make moving a storyline along with other selected clips a surprisingly tedious task. Well, that too has changed. Now, if you drag your marquee from the side of the storyline, you still only select the individual clips. But if you drag your marquee from the top of the secondary storyline, then it's selected in its entirety. Yay! There's also something new in the area of filters. There's a new comic looks category that contains six comic style filters, whereby they're really all the same filter, just with different presets to start from. And while at first I thought these are probably just some goofy new stylized look that I'll probably never need, after playing around with them a bit, I actually realized that you can create some very interesting looks using them. So I can really recommend just playing around with them for a while and see what you can create. How good or bad an effect looks will obviously depend on the chosen footage. But for one, I found that footage with higher contrast will generally yield the most interesting results. The best part, of course, being that, as usual, it's all in real time. So now you can all go out and make your own AHA videos. Uh -huh.